Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet a pot for flowers. With this pot, you can put any flowers you like. If you are new to my channel, I'm sharing crocheting ideas every week. Please subscribe and turn on notification. Now let's begin. These are materials we will be using. Make this pot. We first lay work a round pad as the dirt. Then we work a pot and finally sew them together. Here we will start from the dirt. So to do this, we will make a double ring on our finger. Then we insert the hook. I usually hold the yarn with my left hand in this way to control the tension. Now we will work 8 single crochet in the circle. This first one is not a single crochet. One. Two. Three. Now we have eight single crochet. We will then close the circle. To do this, we'll first lay from the tail and we pull through the tail. Then we will notice this part is becoming shorter. So we will pull through this shortened part to close this circle. And, and we close as tight as we can. Then we pull through the tail again. In this way, the circle is super tight. So here we can cut off the tail. Now we will close this round. Every time we close a round, we will do the same. So we find the first space of each round. And we will go slip stitch. A little trick is we can pull through this yarn to minimize the slip stitch because in the future we won't work here. Then we will chain one to start round two. Every time we start a new round, we will chain one and we don't count this as a stitch. In round two, we do eight increase, which means in each of this space, we do two single crochet. And by end of this round, we should have 16 stitches. Here is our first increase. Now we finished this round, then we still need to close this round. Every time we close a round, we do the same. We will find the first stitch of each round and work a slip stitch through this round. Then every time we start a new round, we will work one chain as the turning chain and we don't count this as a stitch. In round 3, we will do one single crochet and one increase, and we will repeat this 8 times. So, one single crochet, one increase. And we will repeat this 8 times. By end of this round, we will have 24 stitches. Now we finish round 3 and still chain 1 to start round 4 and don't count this as a stitch. In round 4, 
we do one single crochet, one increase, and one single crochet, and repeat eight times. From round four to round eight, we are following a similar pattern. So I will put the pattern on the screen, and you can pause here to finish. Now we finish round eight, and we'll start round nine. So we still chain one as the turning chain, and don't count this as a stitch. In round nine, we will work one single crochet in each space. But the different part is, for each single crochet, we only work in half side of each stitch that are far away from us, which means. So we'll start from this. First a single crochet, and then the second one. We we'll only work in this half side. In this way, we will create a curve. Here is our first single crochet. Now the second. We only work in half side of each stitch. Then the third. In this way, the work will be curved toward this side. Now we finish round nine. Finally, we still do a slip stitch through the first stitch to close the round and cut off the yarn. So now we finished our dirt. Now we will start to work the pot. Here I have already finished the bottom of the pot. So the bottom is using the same pattern as the dirt. So now you can pause here to finish round one to round seven. Then we will start from round eight. Now we still chain one to start round eight. In round eight, we do one single crochet in each space, and we'll do fifty-six single crochet. So we're still working half side of the stitch that are far away from us. Way the work will curve to this direction, and will form our pot. Now we finished round eight. Then we will chain one to start round nine. In round nine and round ten, we do one normal single crochet in each space. And by end of each round, we still have fifty-six stitches. Now you can pause here to finish round nine and round ten. Now we finished round eleven, and this time to start round twelve, we will chain two, because in this round we will work one double crochet in each space. When doing double crochet, we usually chain two or three as the turning chain. And here I chain two, and do not count this as a stitch. From round twelve to round eighteen, we are following similar pattern. I will leave the pattern on screen. You can pause here to finish until round eighteen.
Now we finish round 18 and we'll start round 19. Here we chain 1 to start round 19 because in this round we do single crochet. And we will do decrease. So the pattern of this round is first lay we do 3 single crochet and then we do 1 decrease then 3 single crochet and we repeat this 8 times. Now we will do the decrease. End of this round, we should have 56 stitches. Round 20, we just do one single crochet in each space. You can pause here to finish round 19 and round 20, then cut off the yarn. Now we assemble the pot and done.